There are variety of shapes for a bacteria. It's because of cell wall and cytoskeleton of bacteria. If they change, the shape of bacteria changes. Bacteria are present in three basic shapes. The first one is called cocci, the second one is bacilli, and the last one is called spirals. The cocci are spherical or circular shaped bacteria. Bacilli are rod shaped bacteria. The spiral bacteria are either helical shaped or curved shaped. Cocci are present in different arrangements. When it is single, it is called coccus. In pair, they are called diplococci. Here, bacteria divide in a single plane. Some diplococci have a capsule such as streptococcus pneumonia. The chain of cocci is called streptococci. This arrangement is also due to division of bacteria in a single plane. A tetrad is a group of four bacteria. Here, cocci divide in two planes. Cocci form a group of eight bacteria known as sarcina. When cocci divide in three planes, this morphology is observed. The last one is staphylococci. Here, bacteria are arranged in a grape-like structure. When bacteria divide irregularly, this morphology is observed. Now we move toward bacilli. Bacilli also have a specific arrangement. When rod-shaped bacteria is alone, it is called bacillus. A pair of rod-shaped bacteria is called diplobacilli. The chain of rod is called streptobacilli. Some bacteria are neither perfectly rod-shaped nor spherical shaped. Rather, these are hybrid of coccus and bacillus. That's why these are called cocobacillus. Some rod-shaped bacteria bend at the time of cell division and form a structure like a picket fence. These are called palisade. The spiral bacteria have following shapes. Vibrio is slightly curved or comma-shaped bacteria. Spirula are corkscrew-shaped bacteria, while the spirochetes are helical in appearance. Knowing the difference between spirula and spirochetes is very important. As I told you earlier, spirula are corkscrew-shaped bacteria, while spirochetes are helical-shaped. Spirula are rigid, while spirochetes are flexible. Spirula are thick, while spirochetes are very thin. Spirula use flagella for locomotion. Spirochetes don't have flagella for locomotion. Rather, these bacteria have axial filaments, which help these bacteria in mortality. Apart from three basic shapes, bacteria also have other morphologies like fusiform or rod shape, but their ends are tapered. Some bacteria appear like coffee beans. Filamentous bacteria are long and thin. They also form branches. Now we move to appendage bacteria. Appendage bacteria have some extra components. Some have birds and some have pili. They are more virulent than others. The morphology of some bacteria look like a star. Some bacteria are rectangular or resemble the box. club shaped bacteria have one end thicker, appear like a bulb, while the other end is thin. Under microscope, they also appear like Chinese letter. Some bacteria don't have a single type of structure. Rather, these have multiple type of morphologies. These are called pleomorphic bacteria. I hope you have enjoyed my lecture. If you liked it, please subscribe my channel and also share with your friends. Thanks.